commonly known as inner ear infection, acute otitis media is a serious and frequently encountered pediatric condition. Due to the presence of colonizing bacteria in the narrow spaces of the middle ear, effective treatment of otitis media can be especially challenging. Otitis media typically begins at the base of the eustachian tube, where bacterial pathogens enter from the back of the throat. Common pathogens include Streptococcus pneumoniae and Haemophilus influenzae. As the escalating infection grows, it travels along the walls of the tube until it eventually reaches the middle ear. The immune system reacts to the invading bacteria by mobilizing mast cells, neutrophils, and other first-line-of-defense leukocytes. These cells promote a localized inflammatory response. Inflammation causes the delicate tissues of the inner ear to swell, creating a warm, closed space, an ideal environment for bacteria to hide and grow. Fluid discharged from inflamed tissues further compromises the region. In this environment, the infection is able to grow virtually uncontained. One potentially serious complication of otitis media arises from fluid pressure that builds in the tympanic cavity. Therefore, one of the first treatment challenges is to relieve pressure against the tympanic membrane. In the case of otitis media, surgical ventilation, myringotomy, is usually inadequate since the incision will quickly heal over. Placement of a tympanostomy tube provides for continuous drainage to help prevent the membrane from being damaged. While drainage may help protect the tympanic membrane from damage due to fluid pressure, it does little to address the underlying bacterial infection. Fortunately, the tympanostomy tube can also serve as a portal for the delivery of antibiotics into the middle ear. However, excessive inflammation in the middle ear space blocks the antibiotic solution from reaching all areas of infection. Bacteria continue to grow in protected pockets, perpetuating the localized inflammatory response. In order to optimize localized antibiotic therapy in the treatment of otitis media with a tympanostomy tube, it is necessary to address both the infection and the inflammation. Ciprodex otic is a major advance in the topical treatment of otitis media. This combination contains an effective anti-inflammatory agent, dexamethasone, and a powerful second-generation fluoroquinolone antibiotic, ciprofloxacin. As the anti-inflammatory activity of the dexamethasone contacts the middle ear tissue, it reduces swelling and fluid production throughout the middle ear. With less swelling and fluid, the ciprofloxacin antibiotic reaches further into the middle ear space and the broad spectrum antibiotic has greater effectiveness in eradicating the infection. By combining dexamethasone, a highly effective topical anti-inflammatory agent, with ciprofloxacin, a powerful broad spectrum antibiotic, Ciprodex otic achieves effective localized treatment of acute otitis media with tympanostomy tube. Dexamethasone, a highly effective topical anti-inflammatory agent. Ciprofloxacin, a powerful broad spectrum antibiotic. Ciprodexotic is contraindicated in patients with a history of hypersensitivity to ciprofloxacin or other quinolones. Ciprodexotic is not indicated for viral infections. If the infection is not improved after one week of treatment, culture should be obtained to guide further treatment. Most commonly reported adverse reactions in clinical trials in AOM patients with tympanostomy tubes. Ear discomfort, 3%. Ear pain, 2.3%, ear residue, 0.5%, irritability, 0.5%, and taste perversion, 0.5%.